Welcome to Outdoor Buddies Adventures. I'm Ron Cuck. Today we're going to take you on a very special anniversary trip for my wife. Now she won't always admit it, but I know deep down inside this was the best anniversary present I ever gave her. So come along on this show. We'll take you fishing for alligator with my wife for her anniversary present. We're here with Bill Klein down in Okeechobee, uh, Florida. Bill, first of all, it's a pleasure being here with you. Glad to meet you. Do you explain to the viewers here a little bit about what goes on with alligator? When you can hunt them, when you can fish them, or what you're exactly allowed to do? Okay, uh, well, for... Uh, Say for if you, you want to hunt them. Yeah, okay, if we want to hunt them, we can, we can hunt them year-round now in Florida. Okay. On special permits. Because right. uh, they're still a protected animal. They're off the endangered species, but they're protected. All right. So we can only harvest a certain amount a year All right. by permit only from fish and game. And even though we can hunt them year round, there is uh, from April through August, we have a size restriction. All right. Because that's breeding and nesting season. Sure. So uh, during those months, we fish for them with a rod and reel and a big snatch hook, a lot of action, a lot of fun. You catch a lot of gators and you fight them. Sometimes it could take a couple hours to land one, get him in. Sure. And then we'll put a noose over him, pull him up on the bank and measure it. And if it's six foot or less, we can keep it. Or if it's nine foot or bigger, we can keep it. Sure. In right. between, we must turn it loose. We locate our first gator. Now it's the chore of getting him hooked. Danny's attempting to catch that uh, that gator out there with a snatch hook on a big rod and reel. We have that spotter line on there, it's real strong. Uh -huh. And he'll keep casting and try to snatch the gator and fight him to the bank. It'll Sometimes, depending on how big it is, it can take a couple hours before you get it to the bank. Okay. And then we'll put a noose over its head and cinch it down on it and pull it out on the bank. We can measure it because there's size restrictions depending on what time of the year it is. Okay. That's uh, just like hunting deer or elk point restrictions, you know. Mm -hmm. So then we'll measure it and see if it's the proper size that we can keep during this time of year. And if not, then we'll turn it loose. Or we might just relocate it. If, you know. So uh, it's quite a chore casting that snatch hook there accurately, but he'll, he'll get him eventually. So then, it can take quite a bit of time, really. Yeah, and then and then the fight will begin. It's like catching a big swordfish or a sailfish. Okay. Quite a quite a lot of fun to fight him. A good rule of thumb, trying to judge the size of it from its eyes to its nose. If that's ten inches from the eyes to the tip of the nose, it'll be about eight foot. In other words, 10 inches long, deduct two, and that'll be about the right footage. So if it's eight, if it looks eight inches from his eyes to his nose, it'll be you a six it. footer. Got it. Yes? Yep. Okay, you now the fun it. begins. You got him? <laughs> What's, got on him. That? What's on the other end of the line there? <laughs> An alligator. <laughs> When you come to Florida, you can fish for alligators. I would guesstimate it's going to be a good six footer. Yeah. You're doing 
just right. Ooh, he's getting closer. See the let's, bubble? Let's, let's let him go once or twice, Billy. Oh, okay. Oh, he's right there. Yeah. Don't don't take its head out of the water, okay? Okay. Up a little. Got him? No. Oh, don't pull on it. Don't, like don't leave him in the water. Just let him be. going to be hard to do here. Uh, Danny, I'm going to have to, the way it's hooked. Yeah, he's here. hooked in the mouth. Here. You? Here we go. Danny. All right. Now I'll get him back in here. Walk to him and just reel out. You're right. It's caught on the. Oh no, it's not. Yeah, you're okay. You're okay. No, just let it be. You're all right. Just walk with him and reel. Walk with him and reel. This is definitely a different type of adventure for both my wife and me. Set your pole down and get that end of the thing. Set the pole set and pull. Yeah, that's good. Just hold him right there, and we'll get you on film. I'll get out of the way. Well, that's what you call alligator fishing. What do you think? <laughs> Pretty awesome. <laughs> you get now, a ten or twelve footer like that, you really it could turn into a couple hours. So how long exactly is this guy? How long is this one? Yeah. I would guesstimate it's a little over six foot. I'll get a ruler and we'll measure it. Yeah, let's go ahead and Okay. <clears throat> now there's something you don't want to come across lurking in the grass. You can go ahead and let's drag him on up here on the hill. Okay. And he'll come with me? Come on with him. No, he's not going to want to. But... Yeah. What do you think about that, Dan? <laughs> That's pretty awesome, Danny. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my God. I never imagined fishing for alligator. Well, this time of the year, we have to be real strict on what we're killing. Um, we're mm -hmm. permitted to kill them six foot and under uh -huh. and nine foot or bigger this time of the year. So we usually fish for them so we can get an exact measurement on them mm -hmm. and make sure that he's an honest six foot. If he's an inch over, we turn him loose. If, okay. he's, um, if he's nine foot or bigger, we, we take them too because of the breeding period. Now is that him with that? That's him, yeah. He's not real happy right now. Back. 
work it up its head. So you don't have this much time to make a judgment call on an elk or a deer. Is it a four point or not? Six foot, six foot three. Now, just for curiosity, measure from its eyes to its tip of its nose. I told you it should be about eight inches. Exactly to the center. I'll be doggone. How about that? <laughs> so as a rule of thumb, when you're looking at one, if it's eight inches from its eyes to its nose, it'll be two inches less in feet. It'll be six foot. Or if it's, you know, if it's 12 inches from its eyes to its nose, it'll be a 10 footer. Pretty good way to judge them. Thank you very much. You're welcome. My pleasure. <laughs> I never would have experienced this if it wouldn't have been for you and Danny. <laughs> All right. Well, we've got plenty of them down here in South Florida. <laughs> Tape its mouth shut now so she can carry it without possibly getting bit. We're going to try to get this, get its mouth closed without getting bit. Right now, it's got this pole in his mouth. <laughs> we got to get that out of there. Hook. I ain't seen the hook yet. All right, need some tape. There you go, Debbie. Thank God. What do you do? Just go around? Wait a minute. Let me get this lines. All right. Get behind my hand. Okay. There you go. Now start taping its mouth shut. They don't have any power opening their jaw, it's shutting it. He can, he can break your leg when he shuts his jaw. Now I, I don't I didn't tell you this, but I work at at a prison, so I'm wondering if this is kind of like restraints. Hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> How many times? Go ahead. Tape cheap. <laughs> that ought to do him. Now where's our snatch hook at? Well, maybe this is a too good idea. Now which way do you put them? Belly up? Turn around. around. Just turn around. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Bear hug it now. Get your arm around it. Good here. Like this? Oh my god. They're actually going to make me carry this gator to the truck. <laughs> Hurry up, Billy. That's my girl. Now tell me, that wasn't a super anniversary present. Everybody goes on cruises and things like that, but that was a special anniversary present to give your wife. And I know deep down inside, she loved it more than anything I ever gave her. Well, that's our show for this week. Join us next week for another exciting adventure where we take you back up to New Brunswick, Canada for a black bear hunt.